So why am I out in a cornfield in the rain to talk about healing chronic illness? Well, you might have heard people talk about the healing of nature and how that's such a part of that healing journey. I think the, one of the most important aspects of that is that when we go out into nature, we make that connection, it reminds us, it examples to us so easily and beautifully how resilient we are, how part of this whole cycle of nature that we are. We are part of this, we are connected to this. We are cyclical, we, are, we go with the seasons, we wax and wane, we grow and then we pull back. We're part of that light and dark, that cycle, the seasons. And so when we're reminded of this, we can feel less isolated because, especially in the modern world, it can make us feel like, you know, we're just alone in this. We're just the single body um, that needs direct healing and, and that where are we gonna get that from? It's all on our own shoulders. And when we can connect back to nature, we realize that we can pull in the connection and power and energy of all of nature and what it can example to us and inspire us to know that we are resilient, that we can grow back, that we can reset our systems, that we can grow new neurons, that we can heal you know, parts of our bodies and parts of our spirit and mind. And this connection also is available to every single being. It's not just um, just for those that are over there or that, that plant over there that's grown with those sets of plants. We all have that ability to connect. And this is something that we find so important in Circle, which is why we hold a retreat every year to meet in person and to create that safe container where everybody can spend time in nature, really benefit from that connection and the inspiration of it and get that guidance and support from the other people that are there, fellows on that journey together, needing that inspiration, inspiring each other, holding each other, while we go through the changes that we need to make to heal from illness. This field reminds me of that completely, especially the corn field. It's such a beautiful example of how our connection is so required as beings. Because did you know that corn, it can't produce corn unless there are other corn plants around. They need each other to germinate, to, to, to pollinate. And so they grow in sets. They have to be like at least four of them to, to, to do that. And it's the same with us. We are social creatures, beings. We need each other in which to confide, in which to find inspiration, in which to find support, and to be the witness to and to be witnessed. And our healing is done in this community. So that's why we are so excited to be offering things like a retreat where we can come together in person and really delve into the roots of what's going on behind the illness and support each other to move past those roots, heal them and start to bloom and grow again. And in our membership community as well, if people can't come on the live one, we'll be holding events so that people can do some of the retreat work by themselves at home. So we hope to see you soon. I hope this is an inspiration to get out into nature or at least to look out in a, in a window or get some pictures printed out for your walls of things that remind you of just the, the epic and just endless resilience and, and cyclicalness of nature and how we also are in a cycle. We may be in the cycle right now of being in symptoms or being in a dis, dis ease but that can come round, a different season can be ahead. If we can create those optimal conditions in which we need to grow. Okay, dear sisters, see you soon.